thank you for stopping by my channel. Make sure you subscribe, click that bell, double click it so you get notifications on all, and while you're at it, make sure your phone has notifications turned on. Hi beauties, it's Jean Persani with Beauty and the Stamper, and today we're going to be using some uh, resin. So it's an epoxy resin, and I have already gone ahead, and this is the Pour On brand. And so I've already gone ahead and I put two little um, amounts. You have an A and a B, you put those together and one hardens the other. So then you have to stir it for three minutes. And I've already gone ahead and done all that. And we are gonna use this in some silicone shot glasses. And then I've got a couple of stickers from my Happy Planner. I thought they were so cute. I'll have to see if I could get here. That is, uh, is that the one? No, it's back a few more here. Let's see, where did it go? There it is. We've got one that says best day ever, and another one that says treat yourself. And I just thought that would be fun to do. So we've got this all situated. We've got our little shot glasses and we're gonna see how many it'll make. And I'm gonna do these double. I'm going to put them to the shot line and then put the sticker inside and then we're gonna let it cure for a little while. So first things first, I wanna make sure that they're as flat as possible. And I'm gonna go right down the center And get that in there. I'm going to do the same thing here. Oh, and I think I have enough to do multiples. So we're going to go here. And I might even have enough to do a fourth one. So since I have to let it cure, you want to make sure you use all of your resin. Otherwise, it's not going to sit around and wait. But I don't want to fill these completely because I want to have the bottom have another little uh, shape to it. But I'm going to make sure I put that on a piece of paper because I don't want that resin to get everywhere. So I'm going to set this off to the side. There we go. All right, now we have these in here. And I'm going to go ahead and just take my blowtorch. And that's going to get rid of any of those little micro bubbles that are in there. And the other bubbles will make their way to the top as well. And I will retorch those again. Just quickly, you don't have to really hold it down too much. And now I'm going to go to those stickers that I found. And I like that one that says best day ever. And it is a clear sticker. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to get it a little less sticky because I want this to go in there. Oh, I need to have it facing the right way, so you'll want to make sure it's upside down. When we put that in there. So I'm going to stick that in there, and I am actually going to put that in with a popsicle stick. Because I don't want to touch it myself there we go and then the other one says treat yourself again putting it in upside down <laughs> I forgot which one I put it in I'm gonna put this one in this one And I want to make 
make sure that stays kind of straight up. There we go. It looks like I didn't quite reach the top there, so I'm going to put a little bit more on this one. There we go. And then I thought I saw some other cute ones in here. I'll show you one that I thought would be fun if I could find it in here. Uh, let's see. There's some other fun ones in here. Now, these are made of paper, so I don't know how well they would be on there. So I'm looking for some that are not in paper. But we'll try one with paper and see how see how well it comes out. Um, oh, I thought this was fun. This says blah, ugh, and ain't gonna happen. I thought those would be really fun to put on there. But I think what I'd like to do, there was a checklist on here. Yes, here it is. This is a paper one, but I still wanted to try it. And I just thought, how fun would it be to have a little checklist? So I'm going to cut this part off. and then try and make this not so sticky again. And I'm gonna put this in here. And I thought we could have a checklist, wouldn't that be fun? So you could check off how many shots you've had. <laughs> there we go. And then again, that's working with the paper and I think I will do another one here that says <laughs> this is your year that would be funny because 2020 just is not I don't know whose year it is this year but it's not mine so I'm going to stick that one in here and I'm pretty sure that my other one that I stuck was not in here so all right we're gonna get that in there that's kind of a long one. Oh, there we go as long as it gets covered we are good I think I'll put just a tad more. So I'm having so much fun playing with this resin. And I thank you guys for going on this little journey with me. So now you can see all, let's see, all those little bubbles in there. We're going to torch it again and watch those bubbles disappear. You see that? They just disappear. Okay, so I'm going to wait. For three hours for these to cure if any bubbles come up I'll snap it again with the with the torch but it needs to cure for three hours and then we'll go back in and we'll add a little bit of color to the bottom of these shot glasses so all right we'll see you in three hours okay this has set up for three hours minimum I have another batch ready to go but I wanted to color this so I'm going to get some of my Arteza mica flakes there's 60 colors in here and I chose what color did I choose aqua blue I thought this would be so pretty so I'm gonna set this off just a little 
and we're going to take and mix in the mica powder and the mica powder is going to color that resin so I'm going to put just a couple in here to start with and see how that turns out and then we'll see if we need any more after I mix this all in and you'll see it's already changing that color oh so pretty if you can see that and I think I've got the color that I need I don't think I need to change that at all I also have some Arteza glitter and this is in the uh, let's see cyan blue so I don't need any more of the color so I'm gonna take that and do that and we're still gonna mix it up a little bit more here man that is beautiful but I don't want all of them to be glitter so I only want maybe two of them to be have the glitter on there so now that this has been mixed up for over three minutes and then I've mixed in the mica powder to color it a bit I'm gonna pour this and pour the first one right on here we're gonna pour it almost all the way up to the tippity top and then we're gonna pour this one here as well and since these are glasses we are going to want them to sit as flat as possible so I'm moving those off to the side and then we're going to take some of this glitter here and pop that in I don't need too much Oh my goodness that has just added a whole new level so I wanted to do this to show the difference between the two and bring these back over mark that and put that on here a totally changed totally change that color I mean the shine in there and then I'm going to do the same here and I still have a little bit left and I'm not going to let that go to waste I'm going to end up using that on probably a different pour so then again I'm going to take my torch and we're going to get rid of those bubbles. Do you see those bubbles just disappear? And that's it. Now we're just going to sit and let these uh, sit overnight in a flat area. Okay, I've moved that to a flat surface. And now I'm going to take one of the round, the silicone molds, and from my Faith... Um, create 365 stickers I found this one here that says be still and that will fit almost perfectly in here and just make sure that that is as straight as possible and I'm going to put that flat down there I'm just going to put it as flat as possible. There we go. As center as possible. And now I'm going to put this right over it. going to get out as much as I can here. Now silicone spatula works well. I'm just using the popsicle stick that can be thrown away. Okay. 
everything is sticky. So be very careful and make sure you have a wet wipe on hand. So that again is going to just be flat. Let me go ahead and torch it because that's the most fun. It really is so fun just to watch that happen. And all of those bubbles came out of there. And now we just sit and wait and I will undo everything very shortly. Okay, I have taken them out and you should be able just to pop them right out. But let me tell you, I will be sending these back because, check this out, the silicone stuck to the resin. So it happened to a couple of them. And then look at this. See that tear, a big old tear. So I'm gonna be returning these. Unfortunately, they were a fail on the silicone, but the glasses turned out cute. So there were a couple of them. So I've already returned these, um, or at least gotten the return code. And this one, unfortunately, is not gonna bake it, but look how cute that came out. And then there's the best day ever. That's the one that had the glitter on the bottom. And that came out rather nice. This is the one where you can count your shots. You can mark it off with a little marker. So this allows you to have five shots. <laughs> and then this one came out. This is, this is your year. This is the one that had that silicone stuck to it so you could see there's still some silicone. And I could probably take it off, but it's not big enough to do anything. And then we have our leftover silicone here. And this one always comes out really nicely. And look at that. It says be still. And then it has that pretty blue glittery. So we got another lovely little coaster or it can be made into a magnet. Either way, I think this one's going to go the way of the magnet. So, very cute. If you like these, please give me a thumbs up if you want to see more. And thank you guys so much for watching. I think some of these were a win, and the mold was not. <laughs> so, all right, have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you later. Bye!